but from eBay these adapters almost the same price second hand this one came in with the box and all in order this one came in without the bloody yeah, it wasn't in there I mean I could use I hope these work let's see yes it works all right so why did I buy these new PL mounts from Metabones. These are this is a very popular brand. I used to have these lead tractor ones which aren't really that different. These are a bit more expensive. Um, that's why I bought them secondhand used from eBay. The only reason why I bought these now when I have these is because I have a tilt -a cage and when this goes on I have very big chunky lenses and the e-mount adapter is very flimsy and small now the tilt -a cage has an accessory which is this bit here which helps support the this peel adapter mount which means not relying on the e-mount to keep this in place with heavy lenses you are now relying on the cage which is a better tighter setup I do have um, at the end of the barrel, at the end of the lens, I have a, a DJI LiDAR and with the rods, it doesn't fit basically a lens support. So then I needed to find a different solution and the solution is to support it at the base with the cage. Now, I've tried these here. But it seems like these holes don't really fit with this tilt -a cage. And I looked on the website and it seems like this adapter works with Metabones and some others, not with the cheaper adapters that I have. All right, let's see. Is it that different? It kind of looks identical. Well, okay, maybe a bit spread apart. All right, let's see. First, put the adapter in all right that's all in and then screw these on okay and that goes in there oh fits like a glove loving it yeah you see, these are the things that I constantly wind up doing, which is buying something, rigging my setup, my camera, and then realizing, you know what, this cheap thing that I bought, this no brand adapter, does not work properly with the accessories of this cage. And the reason why that happens is, Whenever you buy something that is um, popular in brand, like Metabones. Metabones is the most popular adapter, E-mount to peel adapter. Accessories will be made, and as you can, as you can see, this accessory um, for holding the, the mount, which will hold the lens, is flexible. So it has multiple points. And on the tilt -top page for this accessory, you have listed Peanut JJ you have listed the a uh, bunch of these adapters that work for it. This cheaper one, it's not listed. It says it might work with other brands, but again, is this is one of the lessons, the biggest lessons I've learned while buying gear is buy stuff that's popular, even if it's a bit more expensive. Because one big benefit, which is the fact that you will be able to fit it into your gear ecosystem better because these cages, these cameras, all of these things are made in mind for accessories that are popular. They're not going to go and make it fit with this thing because this is not that popular. It's the cheapest one on the market, but it's not as popular as Metabones. So now we have a camera with an adapter that is super tight here. And now if we grab our peel mount, 
Viltrox. And you'll see what I'm talking about. These are super beefy. This thing is 75. They're all the same size. This is two kilograms. And if I try to put this, I mean, I've done that before and not have any support and it seemed to be fine, but over time it's supposed to start sagging. There you go. Oh, and this is way smoother. This ring is way smoother than the, the other one. There you go. And now this beefy lens is not really relying on the E-mount, is relying on the cage for support. So I don't need this. I'm probably gonna take these down as well. Cinema lenses, peel is the most popular mount you can have. Now I have a full set of DZO film. This, this is a bit ano a bit anamorphic, I'll call it, but it's um, really good for high-end productions. The, the quality of the lens is really good. I have these, these have EF mounts, mainly because I'm using uh, this module uh, 8L2 tuners, which gives it um, a nicer, more filmic look. It is a lot of information on these online, so you can check them out. Now, if I have this, my conundrum right now is, if I need to quickly switch between these EF and the PL mount, it means that I need to unscrew this and take this all off. I'm thinking whether to give up these L tuners, change these to PL mount, because these have, you can, you can take the EF mount and um, change to PL mount, and then just have this meta bones always staying on the camera and just change from this anamorphic to the um, spherical lenses from DZO film. I might do that. The only challenge still is I have three cameras, three of these FX3s and I'm shooting podcast, my own podcast and I decided I'm not going to shoot on cine lenses anymore. I'm going to use these cheap um, Samyangs out of focus so that means that I still need to take this down whenever I record the podcast but at least if I'm on set and I need to switch between the beefy uh, lenses and those at least I don't need to take this adapter down and actually I can have all of them on PL mount I'm not yet decided I still see a great value with these it gives you that chromatic aberration and a, a bit of a a bit of a character to your lenses, so I don't know, I'll see.